Whew. In the eight years that I've been doing taste tests on this channel, I haven't done a single advent calendar taste test yet. So this is a first. It's incredible. You have tasted everything. Yeah. And as you can see, we do have a lot here to try. Finnish calendars. We also have like international uh, brand calendars as well, but all of these are available in Finnish stores. We're going to start with the uh, Karl Fatsa one, which has uh, several different chocolates inside. Let's just open it and see which ones we get. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, shall we just do one and two and see shall which we, ones yeah. we get? Oh, but I we also one. need to see what's behind 24. Or shall we not We'll leave it, it as a surprise, I think. Okay, so I've got number one here. Okay, where's number two? There. Okay, so what did you, did we get the same? We don't know until oh. we taste it. You animal. Just threw it straight in your mouth. Should I have bought it dinner first? <laughs> <laughs> so I definitely got the... Oh. I got Fatser Blue. Yeah, I think I did too. Mm -mm. Truffle. I mean, you can't beat it. Mm. So this one is 10.95. What do you think of that? Yeah, pretty decent advent in yeah. calendar experience, I would say. Good quality chocolate and a big... Uh, it says on the back that you get a big Fatsa uh, Sinanen bar. I, I would say it's pretty good. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Oh, I thought we were going up to 10. Welcome um. to Finland. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, four out of five. That sounds good. Hmm. You know what? We need to do the direct comparison. <gasps> good idea. We mentioned this in the last taste test that we did together. Cadbury versus Fatsa. So for those of you who don't know, Cadbury's Dairy Milk is the sad British equivalent to the Fatsa Blue. Let's find out now when we have that flavor still in our mouths. So this is a bit of a chunky, chunky little one. Oh. Like it's quite thick and they're individually wrapped. So yeah. if you're going to work and you don't want to have your chocolate straight away, you open your thing, pop it in your bag, and save it for after lunch. Sure, that. And also, to argue the other way, it's a bit of a waste. Mm, it has true, to be wrapped. true. I'm struggling to find number two. Again. Yeah. That's half the fun, trying to find your door. <laughs> now, on 25... Wait. Oh, yeah, wait. Does this go to 25? Because it's British. Oh, no, it doesn't, yeah, You said 25. Yeah, I, I would have expected a big one on wait, 25. Wait, I can't even see 24. There's 24 by oh, your there's thumb. 24. So here in the back, you can see also what's what's in the calendar, which is quite nice. You know what yeah. you get. So in this one, you have these three from Cadbury. So that's the caramel. Oh, I love that. Normal and a uh, whole nut. Whole nut is quite good. What do you have? Oh, I've got the caramel. you got the regular. I want to have the experience of the disappointment. British, <laughs> the disappointing yeah. British chocolate. Oh, that is so nostalgic. I haven't had dairy milk in so long. Don't see fats are making. Oops, making making that, do you? It's so insanely bitter compared to fats are blue. Bitter. I can't have it. It's different, and I would you must admit. I do have to admit that the fats is is better. Thank you. That's all we wanted. Yeah. So this is nine ninety nine. It has. It's exported. It has, it's come all the way from the UK. And it has its perks. Individually wrapped. Pop in your bag. Yeah. Quick score. Two and a half. Two for me. I was gonna say I was surprised that you went that low. Two for me. Oh yeah. Two and a half for me, and I get the extra half point for the nostalgia yeah. factor for me. Mm -hmm. Let's do a weird one. A weird one? Are or you talking about <laughs> salmiakki? So this is Halva salmiakki calendar. Let me open the book. Ooh, that's quite oh. satisfying. And it's nice that you, you can kind of... We always used to hang our calendars up on the wall. Oh. I think on the back sometimes they have like, yeah, like a little oh, hook. Oh, you're right. Hook hole. Hmm. But this, I guess you can, if you don't want to, you can just put it on the table. Like yeah. That. <laughs> I, am I like yeah. stating the obvious? Yeah. I'll take number one this time, you take number two. Is it because you can't find number I two? I found both. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Oh, I didn't see that mm. coming. Okay, okay. So in this one, it looks like you have individually wrapped, okay, again, for me, that's a positive. <laughs> in the bag, in the pocket for later. If you would ever be offered a chocolate or a candy and not like eat it straight away. But you love the idea. Yeah, so individual little bags. Mine has a couple of just regular salamiyaki candies and you have some kind of chocolate covered holes. Well, we don't know, okay. some kind of holes. That's the standard, like, oh, yeah. I don't like that at all. These are little cars. Try these, this is nice. Mm. I know what you think it smells like. The powder. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Hold on to your hats, because this is 16.90. I'm actually surprised it's not more. Really? Just because it's so big, yeah. Size isn't everything. You have to think it's still just 24 sweeties. But what do you get on number Although 24? Although there were two in each pack. 
That's true, you get double. Double. Mm. You could share this with a friend. You could share this with a partner or a sibling. That's quite nice. That would actually. suck. Here you go, children. You can share this. <laughs> no, but Merry Christmas, two. Tiny Tim. <laughs> <laughs> but there is two That's in true. there, yeah. so. But who gets to take it to work? It's in one bag. <laughs> you don't take it anywhere. What do you get at number 24 though? Probably just another little bag. It's yeah, not, it's not, not a bigger. It's not a bigger one, no. so. Okay, score please. One, no, two, two. Oh. I, I need chocolate in my in my advent calendar. Okay, fine, but That's I think nice. it's like, it was quite different. It's quite mm. stylish. I like mm. that it's two. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. Hurts a little bit that you rated this higher than the Cadbury, but we'll, we'll talk about that later. I'm gonna rate everything higher than the Cadbury. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Okay, what's next? Ooh, let's go international and kitty friendly. Mm. Or should I say kinder friendly? Oh. Okay, here it says what's in it. Mm. Oh, this is quite a nice one. So, of course, this is the uh, standard Kinder one. We do have another one, I think. Okay, all the doors are a little bit different size. Look, you get really mini Ooh. ones and like kind of long ones and then medium sized ones. Let's take different sized ones. Yeah, we've got to take one of each, I think. What, what number was that? One. Okay, it's and this is. Small. Yeah, it's actually quite. Kinder quite mini. Oh, and you get a little. A little egg. I think we for this one we probably need to open a few just because they're obviously like super different yeah. and different sizes and stuff. But otherwise we're kind of trying not to like open too many boxes because we're gonna give these to like friends and family so that it doesn't go to waste. And so we don't have this much chocolate at in home the house for us That's just true. to eat. Oh wait, you oh dear, you opened that one already. Oh dear. <laughs> that was the most genuinely British moment you've ever had. <laughs> oh dear. I want one of these. <gasps> Look what I got. Okay, oh, that's worth open. waiting for. That was on number six. And I guess there's one more. Ah, there's a big of course, one on, on 24. the 24. Do you want to try this, whatever this is, Kinder Ooh, Mini? I don't really one. know these like products. <laughs> okay, yeah. Kinder Egg. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Are we doing the egg as well? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. It's filled. I just got the coating. Hey, I got scammed. I thought you gave it to me. That one's a little nutty. Mm. Mm. So you did get the filling. <laughs> And this, oh, that's a bit disappointing. That the, the character isn't actually on the chocolate. Anything inside? No. No. So I'm guessing this is like a Kinder Egg. Mm. It's just something about Kinder chocolate. I think it's the mm. white mix of white and milk chocolate that just. It's very good. I like it a lot. How much? Okay. Well, what do you think? It's quite good. Quite basic though. So I'm gonna go eight ninety nine. Okay, it's seven fifty. Okay. Hmm. So I think that's actually. A Really good price considering. Mm, I'd say you know, so. Because it's really, it's different each time. Mm. There's some big ones. Some of yeah. them really good. Mm. I'm going to give this a four and a half. Better than Carl. Yeah. Ooh, mama chica. <laughs> Please don't ever say <laughs> that again. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> <Ay>, papi. Remember <laughs> <laughs> the words you use? I think you mean mama chica. <laughs> mm. Okay, papi. <laughs> what do you want to give it? I am going to give it a three okay. and a half. Okay. okay. It can't. It's. It can't be better than Carl. I'm sorry. No. What's next? Can we do the panda one? Because yeah. no, we had so many mm. chocolates. Again. Should we have a drink to? Yes. Cleanse. Uh, milk. Yeah. One in Finland. Chocolate panda. Okay, now this so is here. a bit of a classy bitch. <laughs> I mean, look at it. It's got gold on it. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> but I agree. Yeah, wow, okay, uh, it is classy. Yeah. And you can see here, okay, it's got all kinds of very complicated flavors. Yeah, Ooh. and as the name suggests, it's chocolate and licorice. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, it's deep. Okay. It's deep and it's like an interesting shape, yeah. the doors. Okay, I'm so expecting a bag like the, the Salamaki Hollow. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm just going into number 16, like a monster, yeah. number two. Similar experience, you get one extra in this, you get three. Yeah. Wait, so you get even one even one extra. You get three and not just one or two, but three. Yeah. <laughs> just to confirm. Okay, interesting. Should we try one of each other? Yeah, so I guess I have it smells I'm like I'm worried a that this is some raspberry. kind of ra Oh. Mine's red. What one do you have? Like a brown? I don't know. I mean I know some people are into this, but I'm not sure I am. But with this one, Bunga obviously trying to class it up a little. What, what's that uh, brand? So, Lucrids or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 There is a classy the, brand with those yeah. balls. Chocolate. And but you know what? They're trying to be a bit like that in the price as well. Can you imagine? It's a premium price. 10 euros. 
1899. Owns it. So it is a classy Be calendar. Wedge. I guess if you're into this kind of thing, then why not? Why not? It's Christmas. I think that's... Who are we to judge? <laughs> exactly. It's just not for me. Like, this is the opposite of what a Christmas calendar... And it's not, like, Christmassy either. It's too classy. That's true, actually. Yeah, it's very... Yeah. Hmm. It's not Christmassy. Hmm. It's a one for me. Ooh, shots fired. Mm-hmm. Definitely not going to get a panda sponsor anytime soon. Cheers. The price to experience ratio was off. So I'm going to give it a... I've got to give it a one as well. Well, there you go. Next. Yes, let's go from the classiest to the... Most affordable. Most affordable. Thank you. So this is a... I mean, let's not... Let's just... Uh, everyone knows this kind of calendar. It's, you know, it's thin. Yep. You know what you're going to get. And I actually love this, like, mm. cheap chocolate in these. Oh. It's like my childhood. This... Oh, and you get a little picture behind the door. Man, that that's... It doesn't take much, does it? It doesn't. No, this is so nostalgic for me. This is exactly... Where's number two? But yeah, this is the Maori Kunas calendar. But you get these in every... Like Paw Patrol, right. Moomins, Santa Clauses. You yeah. get these in all kinds of different versions. Mm. Classic Christmas calendar. If you were born in the 80s like us, probably this is what you... you, you How recognize. dare you? Late 80s. <laughs> If I was to buy one of these calendars for myself, I'd definitely go for a style like oh, this. Oh, yeah. Just because it's cl classic. Yeah. Get your mouth full of quick chocolate. Can't put this one in your bag. I was going to say, but you like to take them with you to work. A little picture behind the door and yeah, off you go nice. to school. <laughs> and guess what? It's only 2.20. Oh, perfect. That's what I'm talking about. I'm actually going to give this like a 4 out of 5 because I just love it so much. I think I'm up there with you. Classic, yeah. <laughs> 4 out of 5, yeah. yeah. Let's go international. Let's hop the border to Sweden. So on this one, you get a little... Uh, coloring thing is that inside or do you just color that little i think it's inside ah, okay. i think then when it's done then ah, you can paint it like finished i don't okay. know so does it say what we have in here i think it's just going to be standard marabou <gasps> oh my gosh i thought that it didn't have numbers i was like there's no numbers that would have been mayhem but just go, go am i crazy door. where is the number here okay so they're quite sneaky with the numbers on this one i like it it's like a little game yeah they're like hidden can you guys see no, you can't because it's hidden. Okay, so this is number two. Yeah, I've got number one. Oh. <laughs> Why did you say oh? Mine was know. cuter. Just... Mine is a little reindeer. And mine is a hey. sled. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. But they're thick, chunky, mm. chunky chocolates. Interesting. Marabou is so different from Fatsa's Blue, as we know. But you know what I really love is the their like nut chocolate. It's mm. super good. I wouldn't buy it just for this. It's definitely a, a caramel twist on, on mm. the marabou. And it's sweeter. Mm, very sweet. Now, do they have a big door? They do have a big door on number 24. Gonna have a peek. Okay, it's like a, a bigger... It's Christmas tree. Bigger, bigger chocolate on number 24. Okay, so this one is 960. Quite good. Mm. You get a big chunky chocolate behind yeah. each door, a nice little game. And mm. is it some kind of coloring thing inside? Some kind of coloring thing. Or just inside on the back. or on the back, yeah. I don't know. I'm going to give it a three and a half. Oh, okay. I'm going to go three. Yeah, it's good. Quite solid. Yeah. Ready to class it up again? Yes. We've been slumming it for too long. Yeah. So here we have the lint. Okay, and can I just say from you holding it, it has all kinds in here. Look at all the different ones. Cream balls, milk balls, double milk balls, teddies. Mini oh. milk balls. Wow, all kinds. All so kinds. And it has little games in the back as well. I got number one. You found find number two. Number two. Oh, found you number found two. it. Well done. Okay, you got a little gold teddy. Okay, I got one of these Napoleon things or whatever you oh, say. Oh, okay, well, that's good. Oh, man, you know it's classy when there's a little tiny piece of glue holding the, the wrapper together. I've got something white in mine. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Lint chocolate has always been my favorite. What? Yeah. It's a bit too classy for me. Mm. I think this is one that I would keep. And, mm -hmm. and this, I think this is going to be my this calendar. This is going to be your calendar. Aww, cute. So behind the 24 door, you get a big, a little, big little teddy bear. <laughs> and yeah, this like join the, join the dots and... Uh, Calm down. What's it? Um, spot the difference. Oh man. Jesus. All There's right. There's a missing present there. Okay. This is, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this is 1190. 1190. I'd say that's pretty good. You get quality yeah. chocolate, a big variation. Mm. I'm going to give it a four and a half. Oh, wait, what did I give the Fatsa one? Four Probably four, I think. It's it's one point above the Fatsa one. I would give this 
three. Five points for presentation. It's very Christmassy. Very Christmassy very and nice, yeah. Mm. From one end of the spectrum to the other. The Moomin Christmas calendar. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this has fruit. Yes. That doesn't excite me. But I think we're okay to open one for this. I think we'll give it to our nephew. I am not a fan of these dried fruit things. How's it dried fruit? Can I, can I, can I, can I? Wow. Okay, so they're little fruit snacks. Yeah. For the kiddies. This one is onion. Is it a fig? Ah, fig. Classic fruit snacks for kids. This one looks like it's been sweating. Why is it glistening? Because it's Christmas. It's a sweaty fruit snack. <laughs> but for kids, we have to yeah. think that this is for kids. For kids who don't like chocolate, like Leo. Actually, no, Leo doesn't even like these little fruit no. snacks. No, so. he's special. <laughs> okay. You're gonna depress me with the price Hold, now. hold on to your trousers. It's twelve ninety. You're paying for the, the moomin, I think. If you don't want your kid eating chocolate, then pay up. Is basically the moral of yeah. this story. Yeah, it's nice, nice to have an option to have mm. something other than chocolate. Like Leo, he doesn't like chocolate. So, and, but yeah, he doesn't also like these, so still figuring out what he's gonna get. We could empty this and just put little bits of sausage. <laughs> okay. He'd be so happy. <laughs> the only calendar that goes in the fridge. <laughs> yeah, so what do we get, how do we rate this? I, I, think you ha I think you have to rate it as a concept. I rate it five out of five as a concept. I think it's great. Hmm. Price is a little bit pricey. But it's a very, it's a very separate scale. Please it's don't not get us the best. wrong. It's not the best. Okay, fine. I'll revise. Four out of five, because there might be a five out of five. Uh, three. Okay. Just because. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> this has a potential for a five out of five. It does. <gasps> and look what's in it. Ooh. You know what? I had no idea that it was something like that. I, I just thought it was like little bags of M&Ms or something. Yeah, I guess but, it's the same maker. Uh, M&Ms and friends. friends. Didn't you know they're friends with Bounty Makes and Mars? Sense. Okay, I found number one. Should I do like 10 for instance? Because yeah. it's, a, it's a big one. It's a biggie. Oh. Oh. I got little Snickers. I got peanut M&Ms, my favorite. But you know what, this is, it's good that it's in a bag. So I'm actually not gonna have it now. I'm gonna put it in my pocket and take it to work. No, can't help think you're mocking me. <laughs> but this goes, oh no, it goes up to 24. Is this gonna be your one? It's a lot of chocolate. I don't know mm. if I should if I want to like have that much candy every day. So, quite it's a lot. lot and I like the small simple ones because it's like a little mm, and I have it with like my morning tea or something but I don't want to mm. start the day with like a bar of chocolate. Yeah. It just doesn't That's really set you up you for the day. And oh and have it at work. Yeah. Oh but there, there, there are like bars and there's also miniatures. Yeah there's some miniatures. Yeah. Then, what do you think? Price wise mm. it's got to be a $15.95 or something like that. It was nine forty, So I think that's a super good price actually. Wow, I mean that's good value. I'm, gonna, I'm tempted to give this like a, a four and a half. Yeah, that's a bang for your buck. I'm gonna mm, go mm. four and a half as well. Yeah. It's impressive. And mm. big, like it's gonna look good on your wall. Look, hanger. That's gonna look good on your wall. Yeah, lovely, look at that. When your friends come over guys, that's gonna look really good on your that's wall. Like, that's like a flex That right is, there. that's impressive. Yeah. Wow. You're gonna be the coolest guy in class, Dave. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to Sweden. Marabou. Mm. So this is the Oreo one. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have some cookies and Whoa. some other what? little Oreos. <laughs> Sorry. I wish I'd done dual channel now so that you could like mute yourself. So here we have all kinds of different Oreo treats. So, so there's number one, mm -hmm. here's number mm -hmm. two. So you got a medium sized one, I got a little one. Ooh. I was hoping for one of these. So I got this standard. I'm not going to open this because it's the same one as we just had. Mm. Oh. Oreo. Oh, it's the chocolate covered one. Is it? How big is that? What is it? Two Oreo chocolate oh, yeah. covered Oreos. Mm. Now that's a cookie. Do you prefer Oreo or Domino? Oh, I'd have to do it side by side. Stay tuned for that video. <laughs> Anyway, back to okay. this one. Oh, let's have a little peek behind 24. Oh, it's the bag of mini Oreos. Mm, okay, okay. This can be yours for only $7.95. That's good bang for the buck, I would I say. I think it's very mm. good. I like that it's a bit different. It makes it a bit of a surprise. Individually wrapped. Don't say it. You know what? I'm not that into like marabou and Oreo, so like it's not for me, but I appreciate it so much. I think it's a four out of five. Yep, I'm agreeing with you there. Yeah. Very good. 
How many do we have left? Last one. <gasps> and we saved the cutest one to Aww. last. So, well, this is the Nestle Galak. Galak. Is this something that we should know? It's like Galak, a thing. And it looks like we've got a bunch of different shaped, but the same things, same flavoring. Hey, this is white chocolate. Yeah. So this is quite special, actually, quite yeah. different. If somebody's into white chocolate. Mm. Ooh, hold on. What on earth? It's got a pathetic little sand. No Very hands. Nice. But you also get the peek inside. And there's a nice little nativity scene at the top or something. Cute. But imagine you could just have it standing on mm. your table. That's, that's a feature. It's a feature. I, I think we're good. This one. one. Now, try not to mention the fact that it's individually wrapped. I'll do my best. Do you like white chocolate? Yeah. Me too. Quite mm. boring white chocolate. Like very plain. It's really not the best white chocolate I've ever had. No. That was disappointing. I was excited for mm. it. But I got let down. Sorry to end on such a <clears throat> disappointed note. Yeah. You are gonna be shooketh. Let me guess. 7.95. 11.95. That is not on. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. It's gonna get one for me. But it's Cute. That's why I it got one. a one a point. Yeah. For the cuteness and the, and the aesthetic, like cute yeah. little reindeers and then the little yeah. scene up the top. But it's just a one for me. Yeah. I think here we have our top four. Uh, this one was my favorite, the lint one. Uh, which was your favorite? Could you choose one? I, I can't really, but maybe, I mean, I do like the traditional. Maybe that's just me. Am I even in the shots? I don't know. I actually really like the Kinder as well. The Kinder mm. is good and it was a bit of a surprise. Which one was the one that had like hidden doors? That was quite fun as well. The normal Narabu. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that was, that quite, was quite nice. quite fun as well, but mm, yeah. So there we go. That was my most expensive taste vi test video yet. I think it was over 150 euros. So please like this video and share it. <laughs> because I need to make that money back somehow. That was really interesting. Yeah. I have to say, I didn't expect it to be so uh, varied, but all of them were, I mean, more or less pretty good. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, these were our favorites. Let us know which ones you're thinking of buying or which ones you bought. Yeah. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if there's one like clear favorite. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'll see you in the, I'll see you in the living room. Thank you. But yeah, that is about it. For this video guys thank you once again for watching like this video have you enjoyed it subscribe if you are new around here and we'll see you next time see ya bye